So I bought myself a new one of these hoses. I've actually had multiple of these. My last one, for some reason, after many years, finally just kind of imploded and started leaking, but they do last for a really long time. Um, I left mine out in the sun in the winter and it froze, and so that's why it's kind of degraded. But if you take care of them, they'll last for a really long time. I have multiple and haven't had any issues. Let's show you what this is why I love it so much. So this is the hose, it comes with this bag, which honestly you really don't need. And then I love the design kind of look, it's just so pretty. Um, it also comes with a really nice spray handle, so that's awesome if you're looking to get one of these, you don't have to buy one separate because they come with it. So this hose is fully expandable. What I like about it is it's this short, but goes well over 100 feet and then shrinks back down when you're not using it. So I already see um, from the old hose I had, they've made some different improvements like this rubber gasket here. So that's gonna really help um, keeping this sturdy. So let's go plug it in and show you what it looks like. For me to set this hose up, this is the side that plugs into the house outlet, which is right down there. So it has a rubber gasket in it which helps prevent any leaking. So I'm gonna just screw it right on to there, just like that, and make it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna take the bottom of the hose because it stretches out and I like to loop it over my hose mount here. I just kind of do this and just kind of loop it a few times and just go like this. And then I'm able to pull it off nice and easily once I'm done looping it, just a couple more loops. So it does sometimes get a little tangled, but that's okay. They're easy to untangle. And what I love about this too is it has these metal connector parts. So they're really durable metal connector ends. And if you want to turn the water off from here, if you want to change your faucet part, you just turn this off and then it's closed. And then I'm going to attach my spray nozzle and just twist it on and then I am good to use it. There we go, that's how you use your hose. So why this hose is worth the money versus all our hoses is because it comes into this, uh, basically it like wrinkles itself up and contracts into almost like a snake into this small amount of hose and they expand. So if I turn the water on and I don't spray anything, what you guys see is this hose is gonna to start to expand and get up to 100 feet long, which is really long. If I had 100 foot of rubber hose here, it would just take up this entire wall, right? So if I start to spray, then what's gonna happen is the hose is gonna retract because the water is coming out of it. So this is super important if you're looking for a really nice hose that you can have a 100 foot long hose, but only have to deal with about 15 feet. This is a great option for you.